Ustros here with realagriculture.com. I am here today at Commodity Classic in Orlando, Florida, and I have here with me Sean Higgins, who is with Michelin. How's it going today? Very well. How are you doing? I'm doing good. good. Okay, so you guys have a brand new apparatus here for your tires, the central inflation system. Do yeah. you want to tell me a bit about it? Absolutely. So I'll say one thing. So it's brand new to North America. It's not brand new to the industry. So what you're looking at here is a central tire inflation system, and this is a two-line system. Uh, it's designed and developed by a German company called PTG. They're right outside of Dusseldorf, Germany. Uh, they have been doing this for 32 years, roughly, and we actually invented two-line technology. If you look, there's other CTIS technology here at the show. I encourage you to go take a look at it because it's really becoming very mainstream. But what you'll see, especially on the planners, is that it's a single line. So there'll be just one big line that goes from the valve over to uh, typically the, the valve stem. And there's a little manual valve that you have to open and close. It works, but what happens if a line gets ripped off, right? Yeah, that's been the big concern. If, if there was ever a breach in the system, you're losing air everywhere. So about 32, 33 years ago, a gentleman named Martin Tiguez had a vision of how do we make this practical, this technology practical for the farming application, because we need it. Guys are roading more and more, equipment's getting bigger and faster, and from a tire perspective, and you cannot get one pressure that does everything. It just is not practical. So he envisioned and invented this, this system that you see here. Well, this is many, many generations from the original. But what we're able to do is keep this valve closed and keep all these lines off pressure and the, the seal inside the rotary union off pressure. And that allows tremendous life of uh, life expectancy of the equipment itself. This is designed a good 10,000 hours before before it wears out, if you will. So many many uh, uses of the of the system. And if I ever rip a line out, we don't lose air out of the tires. So a farmer can keep working uh, the whole day and not be down in the field. What's also really nice is you'll notice there's nothing that I have to come manually adjust or do. Everything on our system is done from the cab and we're fully ISOBUS integrated. So you can do everything right from a touchscreen and it's fantastic technology. I'm excited to be bringing it to North America, to Canada and the US. We've got great distribution, uh, especially up in Canada uh, that we've been working with. So Talk about what this does for compaction in the field. Sure. So there have been multiple studies, right? Uh, we've had a ton of studies from independent universities, seed groups, you name it. They all show the same thing. The lower pressure that we can get to in the field, we reduce compaction. We reduce water runoff, right? All these kind of things. Uh, in fact, Ontario uh, is now helping to subsidize technology that will uh, reduce water runoff. There's quite a bit of money that's up for grabs in that province that they're getting. I wish we had it in the U.S. Hopefully we will one day. But why do we get this compaction? It really stems from how do we have to set tire pressure? And not to bore you or anything like that, but when you look at uh, how do we set pressure in the ag world, we always have to set for the worst case scenario. That's always, almost always going to be roading, right? And and as any tire increases in speed, it decreases in capacity. So we got to add more air so that we can hold all that weight at that high speed. Well, then what happens when we get to the field? We drop in speed tremendously. We shift a lot of weight around, and now all of a sudden we got a tire that's heavily overinflated. And now, when you get that overinflated tire, you got a much smaller footprint. You're driving all of that weight to a smaller uh, area, and so we get more compaction. So the simple solution is just let air out when you get to the field. But uh, there's been no simple way to make that mechanism happen until now. So you guys mostly work with uh, agriculture with the agricultural industry. We're 100 percent into ag. So. Uh, uh, we have been for 32 years now uh, ag focused. Uh, there was a short time where we also did some military work. So from a durability standpoint, uh, we learned a lot in that military application, but we have been 100% focused on ag the whole time and ran in parallel some military uh, a while back. So over three decades of, of experience in agriculture alone. And what's the cost on one of these? It's gonna vary from, from system to system, but in US dollars, I can tell you, you're going to spend anywhere from maybe uh, five or six thousand dollars up to over forty thousand. For example, if we're doing, say, a great big slurry tanker and all the axles and a big compressor, 
So there could be some acquisition price, but where you really see the payback is in three major areas. Uh, one is reduction in fuel consumption, both on the road and in the field, both, because we, we make it easier to roll, reduce that rolling resistance with a higher inflated tire on the road, reduce that sinking effect and all the rutting that we do when we're in the field. So we reduce fuel consumption both ways, increase tire life by up to 20%. We've seen this over and over again. A lot of tires wear out quickly if we're doing heavy roading, especially if they're underinflated, right? If we're pushing that envelope for that one size fits all, yeah, the casing may take it, but you're going to get a lot of your regular wear, and you'll see those bars that are all right uh, uh, manhandled. It looks like when they're uh, uh, when they've run for a while. So we'll reduce that by 20%. So longer life on the tires. Uh, but the big thing is yield, and, and we've seen a lot of yield studies, especially in corn. You know, three percent yield improvement. I saw three independent studies done this year, working with Beck Seed, Ag Revival, and Hefty Seed, and they all showed the same thing. We can reduce compaction, especially in those Pentros. They were seeing that roughly seven bushel yield increase. So uh, that dollared out within one year on a on an average, you know, the three thousand acre farm. Uh, we we dollared that out in about year one. And again, this thing's designed to go ten thousand hours. That's a lot of years of return uh, for the average consumer. How do producers get their hands on them? <laughs> Absolutely. So they can uh, they can certainly go take a look at uh, at our website through uh, Michelin uh, Michelin dot com and go to uh, our agricultural side and, and, and look at it that way. PTG.info, PTG.info is another great way. Uh, and of course, they can reach out to me directly. Um, we've got uh, a couple of importers in the U.S. Uh, and distributors, and uh, they can always reach out to me, Sean.Higgins at Michelin.com, and I'll point them in the right direction on anyone that's interested. Perfect. And up in Canada, too, we got great Canadian dealer, so we can, we can handle all of North America. Awesome. Thank you very much for your time, Sean. Thank you. I appreciate it.